Have you ever graphed a function and felt constrained by the finite size of your screen? And have you ever wondered, what does the function look like if I just keep zooming out forever and ever? In this video, I want to talk about a way to see all of a function at once, where every single point in the xy plane is projected onto this one circle. You can see that this distorted blue line over here is roughly the same function as I have graphed here on the xy plane. But over here on the circle, the ends of the graphs keep going and they approach the edge of the circle. The way I'm doing this is by defining a projection function that takes any point in the xy plane and projects it onto the unit circle in the middle. This blue curve is just the result of that function applied to all the points on the graph. I made a separate file in Desmos 3D explaining how this projection function works. It's a function that takes any point in the xy plane and brings it into the unit circle. So first consider this red point, which I can move around on the xy plane as I drag this slider. The way I've done the projection is by imagining a hemisphere sitting on top of the xy plane. It has a radius of 1 and it's centered at the point 0, 0, 1. And now if I label the center, consider the straight line that goes between this center and the point on the xy plane. As I move the red point around, this purple line also moves. And let's consider the intersection between the purple line and the hemisphere, which is labeled by this blue point over here. If we now draw a line straight down from the blue point and mark where it intersects with the xy plane, all of these points and lines now move as I move the original red point. And notice that because this blue point on the xy plane is always directly below a point on this hemisphere of radius 1, that means this blue point down here will always be within the unit circle on the xy plane. And this is the method I'm using to define the function that takes any point in the xy plane and gives an output that's always in the unit circle. And because this function works for individual points, it will also work for entire functions. The easiest way is to define a function parametrically, like I have here. This red curve is y equals x cubed, graphed parametrically on the xy plane. And as I move the slider, the red point moves along this red curve. We can see how this blue point here on the surface of the hemisphere traces out a path as this red point traces out y equals x cubed. This is what the path looks like. And as the red point moves along the xy plane, that blue point on the hemisphere also traces out this path. Lastly, tracing out the path of this blue point on the xy plane gives the final projection of y equals x cubed. If I now disable the hemisphere and look from directly above, you can see how the y equals x cubed curve has been transformed into this curve that fits within the circle. This is exactly what this Desmos file is doing. It takes a parametric function and it plots the projected output of that parametric function. If I change the function to be what is essentially y equals x cubed, and then zoom in to fit the scale of the 3D Desmos plot, you get exactly the same result. This is just a fancier version of this made in 2D Desmos. And this works with any parametric function that you can think of. Here's the function at the start of the video, and you can type in whatever else you want here as well. For example, we can see what the square root of x looks like and how it seems to approach this point over here as it goes off to infinity. And this isn't saying that the y value becomes zero when the x value goes off to infinity. It's just that the x value increases much quicker than the y value. So it appears to approach this point over here. Here's a hyperbola. Here are some combinations of sine and cosine. Here's an outward spiral. And you can type in whatever other parametric equation you would like. I've linked both this Desmos file and the 3D explanation down in the description of this video. So please feel free to have a look and play around with it yourself. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.